Hey guys, welcome to the Introvert Dating Success Show, courtesy of introvertdatingsuccess.com. I'm your host, Harry Wilmington, and today, this is going to probably be a shorter one, but I wanted to answer a question from a guy who's going through what I imagine a lot of guys are going through right now that are meeting women during the holiday time or connecting with them during this time, which is how do you get a date with them or plan a date with them when there's a lot of other stuff going on, they're going out of town, they're not gonna be around. Do you need to try to set dates now? Do you need to continue trying to talk to them now if you're trying to text them consistently? How does that look? And so I'm gonna answer this guy's question and hopefully in the process it'll answer your question too. So the guy's question, he says, uh, I need help with a girl I met on Instagram. He says, I found this girl on Instagram, uh, shot her a message and she answered great success. And that's brilliant. Any, If you guys are able to reach out to women on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever, that you don't know and be able to start conversations, that is fantastic because that is a avenue to be able to meet women. I have an extensive program called Smart Digital Dating, which actually teaches you the ins and outs of how to meet women on digital platforms, how to message them, how to get dates. So be sure to check that out at the website. But anyway, this guy says, we had a good conversation. She even said that usually she doesn't talk too much with strangers, but I'm somewhat different. Now, I will say that could be true or that could just be a line that she uses to make guys feel like she's the only, they're the only person that she's talking to. Either way, if it's vocalized, don't read too heavily into that because what I don't want you to make the mistake of is thinking that if she says something like, oh, you're the only guy I'm talking to or no guy's ever treated me like this before, that it, it, that means that you're in there, okay? I never want you to think that you're actually in there until you get the date, okay? So take it as nice banter, take it as stuff that she's saying to butter you up and make you feel good. These aren't bad things, but don't read into them as she's completely chosen you as her person yet because you might end up making moves that could make her think that you're a little more obsessed with her than she's with you and it could scare her off. Continuing, he says, uh, I hit her with my sympathy and irony, her words. He, uh, She asked me questions and there was some sexting too. Again, just because she's doing these things does not mean she's yet picked you, but it is a good indicator that she started to build some interest in you, okay? Continuing, he says, this was the first two days. Then over the last two days, she cooled down a bit and started not responding unless there was a direct question. So recognize that this can happen just in any texting relationship. Even if somebody you've been texting for a long time, that you could be texting a lot in the beginning and then it starts to wane a bit because the reality is as much as, as much fun as it is to be able to text somebody and talk to somebody, keeping up a high level of consistency for texting can be really, really hard, especially at a time this time of year where it's like there's holiday stuff going on. There's you know people getting together with their friends and family and doing things like shopping and doing things outside of wanting to be on their phone all the time. So over time, as as exciting and as well meeting as that conversation in the beginning can be, it can start to wane a little bit. And that's even outside of like the holiday season. A lot of times guys get very excited in having these conversations early on with women, but they don't realize that she has a life outside of him and she may want to actually have times where she gets off the phone or she might have days where she doesn't want to be on the phone as much. Like I think we've all become slaves to our phone to a point where we think that if a person's not on their phone talking to us, it means they're losing interest when really it could just be they need a break from the phone and they may need a break from you that day. That's totally fine. Especially somebody that has not met you yet. Also, I've talked about before how this can sometimes be a test. Women talk to a lot of guys on the phone and some guys, if they go away for like a day or two, suddenly start texting him too much or saying, where are you at? Why are you doing this to me? Or start calling her out of her name. And so this can also be a test to see that. All this to say is you should never be reading so much into if a woman's texting you start to wane, okay? Because the reality is she could still like you or she could be testing you or a bunch of other things, but you shouldn't be so invested in her talking to her on the phone that you start to lose focus and start to feel some kind of way when it starts to go away, okay? You need to be having a life outside of her, but also to the point Ultimately, the phone is designed to be able to build up dates. So for me, if I'm not trying to connect and build a date with some woman, then I'm not really trying to have a long extended conversation. I might do that in the beginning in an attempt to try to, you know, make sure that we connect enough to where I think an in-person date is going to be a good idea. But I don't try to spend like five or six days on end just talking for no reason. Okay. Your texting should always have a point to it. Continuing, he says... Um, now she basically told me she'd be down for a date, but she won't be in town until the 31st. How do I behave? Do I, I write her every day, uh, every somewhat days to remind her that I exist waiting for January? Uh, no, you don't have to do that because the reality is women that like you, women that like you know that you exist. Women who are talking to you on the phone aren't going to forget about you in their phone. Like it's not like she's going to 
talk to you a few days on the phone and then go away for five days and they'd be like, Who, who's this guy on my phone? What's this conversation I had? Oh, I don't know what that is. I'm going to delete it. And I think a lot of guys think that's going to happen, but women have very good memories. It's going to be very hard for her to, to, to forget who you are, okay? The only way that she would suddenly forget, quote unquote, is if she didn't like you or start losing interest, at which point she would just go ghost. It doesn't mean she forgot you. It just means she lost interest and doesn't want to continue a conversation. So those are two different things, okay? Uh, continuing, he says, do I force a conversation? So here's the thing. You never want to think that you have to force a conversation. But more importantly, like I said, the phone should not be used to try to create and build rapport. Ultimately, you want to say that for the actual date. So really, you need to be erring on the side of using texting as a means of getting a date. Now, in this case, this woman has told him that she will not be back in town until the 31st, which means she will not be available for a date of some kind until after the new year. Totally fine. You can say to her, well, great, uh, then I'll, I'll hit you back in January, have a happy holidays, and then you just wait. Now, some of you heard that and just thought, oh my God, I could never do that because today, it, it, the day this podcast comes out is, is the 24th, and that means I have to wait a whole like eight days to contact her. What if she forgets? What if she forgets about me? What if she thinks that I lost interest? Dude, women that have high interest in you will not forget about you and will still have those feelings even if you, you have to wait eight days. I told you guys before, in the long span of a relationship, if you and this woman end up going uh, dating and getting into a relationship and then getting married and staying together 30, 40 years, eight days is a relatively finite short amount of time to not go talking to her. You will be fine. She has other distractions that are gonna be happening during the course of the holidays. And actually, you getting in the way of that by trying to text her all the time, by trying to ask her to, to meet you up before that time, those could actually be things that start to annoy her because she's told you, hey, I'm going to be busy. And your response is, that's great, but I still want to talk to you. I still want to bug you. I still need you to respond to me. And that can come across as very annoying. This is why this is the weird time of year to date because this is the time where it's like things are slowing down and most people are going to be wanting to connect more people that they already know that are already in their friendship circle, in their family circle. And so you try to come in at the end of the year as new stimuli, while you guys may have some kind of connection based on the conversation you had, that does not mean she's gonna wanna suddenly turn all of her attention to you because realistically, she does not know you, she doesn't owe you conversation, she doesn't owe you the extra attention because you're not yet a actual stable presence in her life. You're a guy that's come along and it's nice to talk to, but you haven't established anything. And so this is why it's actually better if you've met a woman around this time of year, great. If she is not able to get back to you or talk to you, you cannot hold that against her because again, she does not realistically know you yet, okay? Just assume that if you've built enough interest prior to the holiday stuff happening, that she will be there in the new year for you to talk to. If she's not, then that just means that there was not a strong enough connection, that's fine. But I find, especially come January, like most people are eyeing February. Valentine's Day is coming up. And so women that are still single post holidays are also going to start looking for guys to be able to have a, to date around that time as well. So don't think that you don't have a shot, but you have a risk of better, you risk a worse chance of having a shot if you were trying to consistently bug her during the holidays. Continuing, he says, I suspect that the great interest has dropped slightly for, for some of my not so brilliant hit, but the situation is still salvageable. I think I have a few attempts though. Tell me if this if, is not correct. So yeah. You haven't ruined your shot necessarily, and it's not that interest is dropped, it's just it's the holidays. A, again, you guys haven't been on an actual date yet, so she can only have so much interest for you based on talking on the phone. So you might have piqued her interest enough to say, hey, I would totally like to see what this guy is about, but this is a bad time of year to do that. It's the last week of the year. I want to be around family and friends and I don't actually know this guy. So maybe in the new year, once things have calmed down, I can start focusing more on that. So don't hold that against the woman. If she needs to go away and not talk to you as much this time of year, that's a normal thing that happens. That's totally fine. And you can actually get my uh, my holiday guide at the website on how to date, the 10 tips to how to date during the holidays. This is one of those things. Don't be mad if she can't you know, talk to you or you just met a girl and she's not inviting you to holiday parties. Like these are things that as, as dating during the holidays goes, you have to be mindful of and be okay with, okay? But yeah, reach out to her again in the new year. She said she'll be back in the 31st. So wait until... Don't hit her up on the 31st. 
and don't hit her up on New Year's Day, okay? Wait until like that first full week of January where you hit her up, hey, how was your holiday? Hope your New Year's was great, what's going on, yada, yada, yada. So hey, now the New Year's hit, I got this restaurant I wanna take you to, let me know if you're free on this day or this day, whichever one works best for you. Keep it that simple, okay? Don't, when you re reach back out to her, don't sound like you have any animosity or that you're mad at her for not wanting to hit you up during those days because again, she's not obligated to do that, she doesn't owe you that during this time, okay? But just sound like a friendly guy that you, that you talked to before the holidays and be like, hey, I had a great holiday too, and now let's link up. Keep it simple, and you'll be able to score that date with a woman post the holidays, all right? So that's all I got for today's show. If you guys need some more help, go to my website, introvertdatingsuccess.com, click on the coaching tab and set up a one-on-one -on -one consultation. You can also go there to check out some of my eBooks, audiobooks, and programs, all designed to help you date as your introverted self while still getting your precious alone time, all right? Also go there to get a free copy of my eBook and audiobook, No Girls For You, The Ultimate Guide to Losing the Girl of Your Dreams, which will give you the ins and outs of why, why you're trying to, how, the reason why you're trying to date the way you are right now, why that can actually cause you to lose women, okay? Just sign up for my eBook email, uh, my video email with your your name and email address, and you'll get access to that right away. Also, this show is all about you guys, so if you have any questions you want me to answer in the upcoming new year, you can write to me at harrywilmington at gmail.com. You can also show support for the show by going to my YouTube page at youtube.com slash harrywilmington and subscribing, or you can leave me a cash app at dollar sign harrywilmington. That's all I got, guys. Tomorrow is the 300th episode, so be sure to check in for that show. I'm Harry Wilmington, and I'll catch you all tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.